Welcome to another SQL Survey 2008 R2 Edition tutorial. So for this week, I'm going to teach you how to connect C Sharp and So first things first, you have to remember uh, to detach your database first from SQL Server before using it to our C Sharp connection. And look for it where it, where it was saved. Then for this example, I uh, have located my database in this uh, directory. So remember that directory because we will be using that to connect C sharp and database. So we go to our Visual Studio. So what I want uh, to do is to display the student number, the name, and the address of a certain student. Uh, from my database here. So first thing we, we do is we have to add the data source or the database to our C sharp. So what we do is we go to data and add your data source or to to for if you have the data sources uh, uh, toolbox we just have to click add your data source. For the first time we we have to select database and then the so first time you run it you cannot see anything here it just so happens that the database is already here because I already created the connection uh, before I recorded this video so there's nothing here the first time you run it and then what we do is to create a new connection so what we have here is we will change uh, some properties so we have to select which data source so we have to click change and then there are different um, data sources available so we have, uh, also have Oracle and Access and everything else. So for SQL, SQL Server we will uh, select a SQL Server database file and then click OK. So this is where our directory we will choose. We have to browse for it and then as you can see I'm already here and I will select the database. So we have to test our connection first to see if it's, it is working. So our test connection succeeded. So we can just click OK. And then what is important in this part is to see the connection string. So we'll expand it. And then we will copy this connection string because we need to hear. We need this in the code. So it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, the next step doesn't really matter, so it just we can cancel. So my goal again is to display student number, the name, and the address of the student in my text boxes. So what I have here is my code. So first, uh, first step is I created first a SQL connection with system details and SQL client and SQL connection con which is the variable name or the SQL connection and then I created a new instance of it in my form row. So our next step is to use the connection string that we got when we added the data source. So we will use con connection string and then equal to the connection string that we just got before we created the data source. So as you can notice I added add symbol to create a verbatim string so that uh, C sharp will not consider my backslashes as escape sequences. So close it with double quotes and end with this. The next step is we will create data adapter for our database and also the data set. So the instance is for this data set a and I created a SQL string which contains my query. This is the same query that we have in SQL Server. So I selected all from my student table. So this student table is a table I created in SQL Server under my database. So what I have now is I have a data adapter. My data set, my data set uh, and SQL Server. So I 
create a new user with which uh, the, the data single data adapter uh, has uh, two arguments. The first argument is my SQL mark profile, which contains the query that we have, and then the next uh, is my connection. So uh, with uh, with this argument, it can the for simple explanation, our data adapter will perform our query SQL with what connection? Our connection is our database. So our database um, that we just added. So is how simple it is. So we will open our connection. So what I, I want now to do is to fill my data adapter with the data set or from my database and name it student. So I just name my table here uh, as students. So next thing to do is as you can see here step eight create method that will display the first record in the database. So we will call this method as you can see in order to uh, display in our text boxes the information about the student. So our next step is to create a data row. The, da uh, the data row will get uh, which row we have uh, which row we will go into uh, use. So what we have here is I created the, the instance of a data row and a row is equal to this one which is our data set. So we have, as you can see, we have table students. So here tables is a, it tells teacher which table do you want. So I want my students table just name it here. And then the rows here specify which row in the table. So I want to get first row is same. The first row is always index of zero. Uh, rows and columns in C sharp works uh, as uh, arrays with zero index. So I want to select my first row in the student's table. So our next step is to get the column. We already have the row so we will get the values from each column. So we have here uh, the D row the data row that we have. The item array, as you can see, is the array of all the items or the columns in a row. So the item array are all the columns that we have. So the get value here specifies uh, which column we will get the value from. So we have here zero again. So I want to get here is the first column of this specific row and then convert it to string because we want it to be displayed in our text box. So the next here text box name will get the second column of our database which is the name and then the address is our third column. So let's see what will happen if we run this. So what I have here now is student number one is already displayed. The name of the student number one is April. The address is Makati. So this uh, this three information or you can say this is a uh, full call from our database is what we got based from our goals here. So I want to show you that we can change. Uh, we can actually change the rule we just selected. So we have to change this rule to one in order to show you that uh, we can select a different row so that we have to run it and then as you can see the values of our text box change which are returned as uh, student number 2 to server Laguna so basically that's how you connect um, SQL Server and C Sharp thank you and have a great day